10 let's show you um, a picture of God but first we'll be singing a song called Jesus you're my number one <laughs> of God but first I'll be telling the memory verse and the message. The memory verse for today is great peace have those who love your law and nothing can make them stumble. Psalm chapter 119 verse 165. The message for today is God's commandments help us understand him. Now let's pray. Our Father in heaven thank you for giving us a beautiful day to worship you. Um, when I do tell the story of a picture of God please let your Holy Spirit be with me in Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now let's get on to the story. Mika loved her grandma very, very much. She, um, her grandma would always send photos, and this especially one was, um, she would, her grandma was in her garden and took photos. And when she sends her photos and Mika receives mm. them, it always reminds her of all the fun times, all the times that they've laughed together, they've smiled. It just reminds, um, the memory of him. So, yes. the lesson in the story today is um, the same thing happened. To, um, God wanted that to happen as well. So that's what happened. Um, that's what happened as well. Because um, God wanted the Israelites to know Him more. So, um, the. There was a special commandment for them to live a happy life and to know him. So this was the day that the Israelites were going to go um, to another new land. Um, and they had been already preparing for two days. They have washed their clothes. They are ready set to go to go to another land. They have been very good at staying away from the forbidden mountain, which is Mount Sinai. And when that happened, there was a beautiful place where um, new th um, they arrived at a beautiful they arrived at the beautiful place, and so but first thunder and lightning came and it feared and it 
it thundered and lightning came and there was a big there was big the sky was full of big dark clouds and which filled the whole the sky then trumpets started blowing everywhere and it seemed as it was coming closer and closer then god said then god said i am the one who i am the one who brought you out of egypt i am the one who brought you out of egypt out of the out of slavery and so god wanted them to live happily in the new land god wanted to them to live happily and um, wealthy in the land. So what they did was that God gave them ten commandments to live peacefully. And so if they follow that ten commandments, then they will live peacefully. And I'll tell you what they are. Number one is that you shall have no other gods before me. It means we shall not believe in any gods. Number two is you shall not make... Um, for yourself a carved image so we sh should not make um an idol or anything that we would bow down to and number three is that you shall not take the name of um the lord your god in vain so we should not misuse the name of the lord because we would not like our name to be used in jokes and we would not like um us to be Put into names that are um that will cause meanness. And number four is honor your father and your mother. So, I mean, number four is remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So, what it means is that we sh God was happy with what He was He made. So He gave us the day to rest. And so. Number five is that honour your father and your mother. And honour your father and your mother is that we should honour our father and our mother. Because... And also yeah. our sisters and our dads. Yeah, our mum and dads. Because they teach us from right to wrong. And they help us and care for us. Number six is that you shall not murder. So, we shall not kill... We should not kill anyone. Number seven is that you shall not commit adultery. God wants us as people to have a happy family, to have no problems between our family of relationships. Number eight is that you shall not steal. Don't steal anyone's stuff. Number nine is that you shall not be false witness. So um, we shall not like yeah, tell the witness that we don't know. Yeah. Number ten is that... You shall not covet. And what that means is that um, God wants us to be happy with Number what he has five. given us. And Number God five. is always with us. So we should be happy that we have him. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. And we learned that not only did God give these to the Israelites. Not only now that. Not only then that they did they use it. But in but even now, we still use God's important rules to live happily and um, enjoy our lives in earth. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.